All right, you saw for yourself on that tape. You saw everybody saw that it was Scotty the Body who pulled the trunks and started this whole thing. It was not. It was not Scotty the Body. It was another superimposing yeah, trick photography deal, just like they did with the boogers and the finger and the whole business. Hey, 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 pony hey, hey, hey. Oh, it, They saw All what they saw, and that was for real. wrestling which is very good to see every once in a while introducing in this corner 235 pounds from florida rex king his opponent in this corner 245 pounds from texas scott peterson scott peterson rex king and the third man in the squared circle NWA referee Sandy Barr. Notice how he's referred to now as Scott Peterson. Not one half of the Southern Rockers. He's just strictly referred to as Scott Peterson. Well, you did a hatchet job on this thing, Scotty. I don't, Scotty. Even, I don't uh, even own a hatchet. Well, I tell you, you call yourself a prosecutor. Well, you, you prosecuted this thing, all right. You prosecuted a very good friendship that was lasting for a lot of years. I prosecuted. And now, and I, the, you, I, let me speak, Gordon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, well, yeah, whose law? My law. Uh, your law. Well, that, uh, that tells you there's something right there, folks. And because of you, their main event Tuesday night is going to be Steve Dahl against his lifelong friend here, Scott Peterson. And that's not Ow. right. That's not don't, right. Don't give me this lifelong friend, mushy, gushy, yucky stuff. I don't care about that smarmy mumbo jumbo. Let's watch the match, cause. Yeah, you can't relate to it because you've never had a good friend. You've never had a best friend. Hey, I've done what I've done, and I've gone everywhere I've gone on my own. But I don't need anybody. Mm -hmm. The body stands alone. Hip toss by Scott Peterson on Rex King. You know, if you have a club or a church, a group, a school, an organization of any kind you'd like to raise money for, you can raise that money by booking professional wrestling into your area. And you can call Barry Owen right there on your screen, area code 503. 484-0840. Barry Owen will give you all the information you need to know on how to book professional wrestling into your area to raise money for charity, which what? is something you know nothing about. What's, this, what's all this scientific nonsense here? How about some action? You got action. Arm drag by Rex If they want scientific wrestling, they can watch me. I want to see some action. No, that's science fiction. But you're talking about it's a horror show out there. Especially when you break up a good friendship like Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson. Course, By pulling trunks and you do it all. And, and I had to laugh the, the, the day they caught you off camera. Caught <laughs> uh, you off camera doing what, Cos? Mm hmm. Yeah. Little. Yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was a hatchet job if I've ever seen one. Let me tell you, people are just jealous of me because I come from a wealthy family. I've got everything I've ever wanted. I'm the wrestling expert. I'm the best looking guy around. I'm the best dressed guy. People are just jealous, and I, hey, I understand, hey. I understand that. They're jealous, I understand, it's all right. I understand, I want the fans to know, I understand you're jealous of me. You're, you're, you're confusing jealousy with thankfulness. With what? They're, they're, they're grateful that they're not like you. Um, you know, just, just because you've had some modeling jobs, just because you've done the Chip and Dale thing, hey, that doesn't, that doesn't make you great, that doesn't make you even good. Hey, makes you I lucky, am, makes you lucky. You're jealous, of course, you're just jealous. <laughs> Rex King goes into a hammerlock on Scott Peterson. Let's get back to the match. And reversal by Scott Peterson on Rex King, and then a reversal again. This is a battle of the... Where are you going? Hey, don't you worry where I'm going, Pally. Where are you going? Well, he's... <laughs> my <laughs> my, my co-host, Scotty, uh, uh, Scotty the Body, has just left the crow's nest. I, I don't know where he's going. Rex King working on Scott Peterson. Pushing that left. At... Now, wait a minute. Scotty the body is approaching the ringside. What's he doing out there? You got to you get a shot of Scotty at ringside. There he is. He's just leaning in, into the ring. What's 
he doing? Now he's going to try to cause some more problems, this time between Rex King and, uh, and Scott Peterson. I don't know uh, where I don't know where they got Scotty the body. But wherever they did, stay out of those places. They they ain't they ain't good. Oh uh, wait a minute, what Scotty? He's obviously trying to distract these uh, these two men, Scott Peterson and Rex King. And they're trying to fight their fight, earn their money. And Scotty the body is now he's drawn away at the referee Sandy Barr. You know he's up to no good at ringside there. This guy is very extremely unpredictable. Down goes Scott Peterson. Rex King is standing right on him, working on that left leg, twisting that left ankle. Oh, oh man, he's twisting it around some more. Don't forget, next Saturday night, kids free. Kids admitted free when accompanied by paying adults. You're going to see the grappler and Carl Stiles for a title match for the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship. And don't forget that... If you can catch the grappler outside of the Portland Sports Arena and get a picture of him without his mask off, Roddy Piper's got 500 bucks for you. The first one to bring that photo into Roddy, he'll lay $500 on you. And you can, if you want to get a photo of the grappler with half of his mask off, we've got some photos over here at the concession stand. Huh? At least you're halfway, could be halfway to that 500 bucks. You can get an idea of what half of his face looks like. Scott Peterson. Another forearm smash right into the face of Rex King. King into the ropes, coming off the ropes. Victory roll by Rex King on Scott Peterson. One, two, and Peterson kicks out. I still don't know what Scotty the Body is doing there at ringside. He's supposed to be up here sitting next to me, helping me call the match. You know, what, uh, what's going on here with this guy? Big question is, why is he my co-host? We have nothing in common at all. I don't even want anything in common with this guy. Yeah, he's talking to he's talking to some uh, some ladies at the ringside. I don't think now you now you see he's talking to that guy. He's not impressing anybody. <laughs> he's <laughs> I don't think he's down there trying to win friends. Well, he's not doing a whole lot here to distract uh, Scott Peterson and Rex King. They're still going at each other. King breaking out of that side headlock. Here comes King off the rope. And oh, he runs right into a knee, right into the solar plexus, takes the wind right out of Rex King, and Scott Peterson staying right on his man. There's a forearm smash right inside the face. Scotty the body seems to be mocking and mimicking all the moves in the ring there, made by Scott Peterson. Face first, and it's Rex King into the rope. I wonder if, uh, if old Scotty might be uh, getting himself into position to maybe apply for the job as manager of uh, Scott Peterson or something. I have no idea. I don't know what's going through his mind. A kick out by Rex King. Scott Peterson staying right on his man, going right back to him. Forearm smash against the face of Rex King. King against the turnbuckle. There goes Peterson with a whip into the... Oh, man! King hit that turnbuckle and so did Peterson. And both these men are hurting right now. Peterson's trying to shake some feeling into that left arm. And now uh, Rex King has got it. Doubled up into a hammerlock position, and it's Peterson going shoulder first into that turnbuckle. And now King has got something going here now. He's creating that weak spot. Ah, oh, hard smash! Peterson came off those ropes, and Rex King leveled him with a hard elbow. And Peterson has got some problems right now. A suplex by Rex King, and Peterson is in trouble. One, two, and Peterson kicks out. He powers out of that. Peterson just trying to stay conscious in there. He's taking a pretty good beating now. The hands of Rex King, the rookie of the year in Florida, into the turnbuckle. And comes off with a hard clothesline that takes down both Scott Peterson and referee Sandy Barr. Now, wait a minute. Hold it. There's Scotty. Scotty the body reached in and grabbed the boot of Rex King. King went down face first on the mat. And now Peterson uh, is pinning Rex King. This isn't right. Come on. Get that. They gotta get that snotty, yeah, snotty Scotty out of there. And Rex King takes a three count from referee Sandy Barr, who did not see what's hap what happened. Scotty the body interfered again. He did his dirty work. He did his deed, and this time at the expense of Rex King. And I don't, well, I don't even think that uh, Scott Peterson knew what happened. I don't think he knows that he had a helping hand in there from Scotty the body. Here comes Steve Dahl. Steve Dahl is gonna try to set the record straight. Steve Dahl explaining 
exactly what Scotty the body did. He interfered with the match. He grabbed the... Hey, Scott. I mean, you can't take a win like that. This guy, this night in the body character, keeps sticking his nose in our business, baby. You can't be that stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. See, Dahl trying to explain what happened, and Peterson just levels Dahl. He just levels Dahl. Now Dahl's going crazy. Peterson did not see what happened. He doesn't know that Steve Dahl was telling the truth. Oh, this is terrible. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back right, right after this. Oh, this, this is terrible. 